the supporters or opposition to our age <laughs> controversial bill. I have been saying Brother Eddie is against all forms of abortion because abortion per se is murder. And if we tolerate abortion, the nation will be in fighting curses and the people will suffer. However, I am in favor of sound family planning, responsible parenthood, uh, uh, responsible uh, parent, uh, parenthood uh, assistant, and we should not allow reckless. I would say, I am I am against reckless production of babies when the economy is uh, bankrupt, like what happened in in the history of South Korea. It is now noted in the history of South Korea, when South Korea was economically bankrupt, financially bankrupt, the government was encouraging every family to produce only one child. But after a while, because of massive prayer movement of Korea, Korea, the South Korea, had experienced the so-called booming economy that, they, that the government doesn't know what to do with their so much money. And they are now encouraging the Korean families to produce more children. And those who produce more children will be rewarded more by the government. In other words, we have to be, uh, to exercise wisdom in uh, managing uh, the population of our country based on righteous I would say righteous principles. We, in other words, uh, I believe in my heart that we cannot sacrifice development at the same time helping the families to produce the number of children that they want to produce so that they can be guided accordingly through education that the future of their children would not be sacrificed. But, um, so are you saying that um, you are against I'm not saying that I'm against RHB. As a matter of fact, I already made I, I already made a, uh, a official statement a few months ago that if ever I'm elected as president, I will immediately order the uh, uh, comprehensive review of the said controversial bill. Now, those provisions which are against uh, which are against uh, the moral culture of the Filipino people, and especially against the will and commandments of our God being acknowledged in the very preamble of the Philippine Constitution, I will fight for the elimination or revision or improvement of such provisions. Uh, which are the particular? In particular, I was informed that five-year-old and ten-year-old uh, children are compelled to undergo a seminar or a teaching in uh, elementary that they have the right, the, the, it is their human rights to enjoy the pleasure of sex. Five years old? I don't think so. Five? Uh, I, was, I was informed, five and ten, you know, five and ten. So, so, so I was informed by a lawyer. Uh, another one is this, uh, if an employer if an employer failed to, to, to provide uh, what we call this uh, uh, instruments or, or, or to provide the specific sample he shared to me to provide, for instance, condom. The employer failed to provide to his employees. The employer will be penalized even for, by imprisonment. If that is true, because I, I got no time to read the whole <laughs> uh, RH bill. That's why my point is I will immediately order no nonsense comprehensive review of RH bill. But, uh, but I'm all out in crafting a bill or a law 
that will really help the Prime Minister country, giving protection to women, to children, and at the same time without violating the laws on morality and the laws of God. So, in short, you still um, for the RH bill that you will revise it? You will revise the RH bill? Well, I, I, I'm against on the reported some provisions, but I am absolutely supporting what we call no-nonsense, sound family planning, and responsible parenthood uh, policy. So in, I mean, in that case, like to, right now you're not president and then you don't have time to read the comprehensive thing. How, how about when you become president and there are so many things to read about? Will no. you delegate them to your people who will... No, definitely I will, I, will, I, will, uh, I will order the Secretary of Health to form a, uh, what we call this, uh, a special uh, committee that will not be biased on political and religious persuasions. I, I, I am after uh, a uh, no-nonsense study without being affected by political and religious persuasions. I can assure our people, Brother Eddie is after the maximization of benefits for the families, for the mothers, for the children, without, of course, violating moral, moral laws clearly stated in the good book. Some people are saying, why, why, why be affected by the good book? You ask the framers of our constitution why they specifically said that the sovereign Filipino people acknowledge acknowledge the existence of the supreme being, the almighty God, by saying that we the Filipino people are imploring the aid of almighty God. And that was clearly stated in the Philippine Constitution as part of the preamble. Probably, if, I still an eight, if I'm still an atheist like before, I may not, uh, I may disregard the word God, but the Philippines is known as the first Christian country in Asia in history, and the first democratic republic 